Okay, what we have here is a pulse generator. It's running about 250 volt uh, pulses. It's running about that frequency, about 13 cycles per second, but almost 800 volts. And that's the amperage. It's a uh, full bridge diode uh, rectifier filtered. It's also got a choke in it, DC choke. You got a 5K resistor, 25 watts coming out of the power supply into four microfarads worth of microwave oven capacitors, 2000 volts. And you can see the relays right here. See it's sparking. We got it modified. We took off the cover, put a neodymium magnet on there to reset it, otherwise it sticks. There's just no way you're going to make it work without a neodymium to keep it from sticking. That's a 115 volt microwave oven light bulb. I believe it's 25 watts. We're drawing close to 32 watts here. And, you know, this is the schematic, simple. Get a relay over here. This is the switch from the relay. Normally, uh, open circuit. We got a microwave oven diode here for a uh, freewheeling diode. And the capacitor here basically is charged with the power supply down here by itself. And then it's being shorted out through the relay into the light bulb. We've also ran a transformer on it. <clears throat> the transformer was designed to do 60 cycles, so it didn't put a lot of power out. Uh, you had to run the light bulb to keep the uh, the back EMF from spiking quite a bit. Uh, about two ohms over here, and we've got about 5K over here to charge the, the uh, capacitor. It's about 25 ohms of resistance on this light bulb when it's cold, so we have to have, uh, theoretically, less resistance on here than the circuit to short it out. So, Ultimately, there's going to be a transistor, and this is the circuit we're actually working on. Got some parts on order here. You can see this on the internet. Electronic design, high powered pulse circuit. If you look that up on a Google, you'll find it. And we uh, doing some work on photo bucket, clean up the background. It's a yellow figure when you find it on the internet. So there you have it.